The theme of this video is chaos, and botters are creating chaos across RuneScape. Let's start with the first tip I received. Someone DM'd me on Twitter saying bot owners are now literally extorting players. There are like 100 to 200 LMS bots, every lobby is full of them. The tip came with a screenshot which shows other bots in the lobby of LMS spamming wanna break from the bots, add this discord to purchase some kills on them. So obviously, I immediately added the Discord being advertised. And while I waited for a response, I hopped into an LMS world. Sure enough, there were hundreds of level 3 LMS bots. Behind the scenes, there are actually lots of different LMS bots with varying degrees of advancedness. The large one we see here, I would rate as like top tier. The movement is incredible. They never hit the attack style you're using prayer to protect from. So if you're praying range, they immediately switch to magic. And they'll even try to spec you out. The first game I got in, I fought the bot and it easily killed me. Later that day, the Discord that was being advertised added me back, and someone messaged me asking if they could help me. I asked if I could ask them a few questions, and he responded, I'll give you 20 questions, so pick them carefully. This person told me that the process was he accepts payment from people and writes a single command in Discord which controls all of the bots, and that he charges about 400k per kill, and this part makes sense, he says it's added mostly for Iron Man just trying to get items from the LMS reward shop. This day was the first day I'd even seen anything being advertised like this, but the guy said he's sold under 300, it's not the primary concept of the bot. But interestingly enough, he says he's just trying to ease the suffering of some people, and I wanted proof, so I said hey, would you give Sir Pugger a few bot kills? And he actually agreed and showed me the command in chat, so he's adding to Sir Pugger 10 times. All of these LMS games have like at least 10 bots in them, so the first game I joined I spawned right next to a level 3. The bot owner also told me that when players purchase kills, the bots will aggro that player specifically. And the guy wasn't messing around, this bot immediately aggros to me and drops its prayer for me to kill it. And as I was running through another group of players, another bot aggroed to me and then stopped attacking me and dropped its prayer again. There's another LMS kill. It's pretty ridiculous because the bots function normally as well, meaning they're still PKing everyone else in the lobby except for me. While I was watching this player dying to this bot, another bot aggroed me and suicided to me, and then this bot kills the real max player while I watch, uses the key to loot the chest, and starts running to the center of the circle, turns around, and suicides to me. And I didn't want to actually use the points that I was getting for free from the bot farm, so I logged out, which means you don't get the point reward. The bot owner cleared the rest of my kills, and I went back into an LMS game, and once again got absolutely destroyed by the bots. So it seems like what the botter was saying was completely true. And then he sent me a screenshot from last year which has some pretty insane implications, which I'll get into right after the break. Today, I want to talk to you about a great game I started playing, Hero Wars. You can download Hero Wars by using the link in the description. It's an online role-playing action game with both PvP and PvE modes. In PvE, I can go bossing and complete missions, and there's an interesting storyline woven in. It feels like a classic fantasy game. When you're completing missions, you can collect loot and upgrade your champions. Let's talk about champions. This game has more than 50 unique heroes, each with unique abilities. You're able to create a team out of multiple heroes, and the different combinations of heroes have different synergies for you to find and use in the arena or the endless tower. But the best part is the online gameplay. You can create guilds and fight other players in PvP. So, join the game now and get a super chest with a secret hero as well as 62 emeralds and 30,000 gold. There's also a new year event happening in the game right now where you could get some epic prizes. Hero Wars is available on mobile devices and also runs in a web browser, which I prefer so I'm glad they do that. Scan this QR code or download the game from the link in the description. Thanks to Hero Wars for sponsoring this video. See you in Hero Wars! For context, this botter told me that he had made his own custom client, not available to the public. When he originally made the client, he discovered a way to truly make an undetectable bot. This screenshot shows an account with a 10 day playtime and 99 woodcutting, aka the bot was able to run almost non-stop for 10 days straight without being banned. He also claims it was in free to play. He shared with me how he actually did it, and it's about how Jagex collects data based on player interactions with the game. But just know that if you tried it now, you'd get banned within 8 to 48 hours. It has been patched. Now remember, if you're at LMS and you see someone advertising that they're selling bot kills, they could easily be scammers impersonating this guy, and even if it was this guy, you're probably just encouraging him to continue botting by buying kills from him. 
him. Continuing on the theme of chaos, I got an email on December 21st, subject line Merry Christmas from an email address that is 69420XDXDXD. It shows a set of 500 of the rewards you get from the Christmas event. Those 500 are worth about 25 mil. I responded, you're running some Christmas bots? And he responded, anonymous tip, Santa might find himself very busy today in World 301. This person also said you can check the GE later and Falador now. So I hopped into World 301 in Falador and there were a decent amount of bots, all with 420 and 69 in their username. They were clearly doing the Christmas event. I checked the GE later that day as well and I didn't find anything. The evening of the next day, I decided to check up and see if the bots were doing anything. This was a weird tip and I was pretty curious about what might happen. I started in Falador and this time there were way more bots than the previous day. Probably over a hundred in World 301 alone doing the Christmas event. I'm just gonna call this guy 69420. I kept messaging 69420, but he stopped responding. But as I watched these bots come in, I decided to follow them after they were done with the event. A steady line of them were leaving Falador and walking to the Grand Exchange. I thought that might be the end of the trail and that they were selling their loot and muling or something, but then they continued on from the Grand Exchange east and all the way up to the wilderness. It looks like a lot of other people had a similar idea because there were some real players there as well but the bots also seemed to log out once they walked into the wilderness. And then someone nearby pastly said stay in the safe zone, hop to world 498. I did and the bots were all there. And I asked any of the other real players around is the bot owner here because I was pretty sure it was pastly and other people agreed. And it looks like pastly is controlling these bots using text commands. We've seen this before in the Steven bots that are around the game, I don't know if it's the same guy or not but he tells all of the bots to basically fight each other to the death. And to my surprise, as they died, they actually dropped their Christmas item loot. I had a lot of competition picking it all up. There were like 10 other real players doing it as well. But in the end, I picked up 1.2 million GP. It definitely seemed like this was not the first time this guy had done it, especially given the screenshots he was sending me in the beginning of the email chain. Other players around me showed me that they similarly got around 1 million GP from this really weird bot drop party. And I dropped the loot. It's actually a pretty insignificant amount given and how much botters make. But the story doesn't stop here. On December 23rd, someone tweeted at me that there was a massive bot farm with variations of the name 42069 raiding the cupboard in Drainer Village on World 301, which is where I think you can get garlic. I hopped in the world and obviously incredibly easy to find this bot farm. Hundreds of bots are streaming from the cupboard to the bank. And eventually they take the same route going over to the Grand Exchange, I'm guessing selling the garlic, and then up to the wilderness. There were some real players there, but this time the botter didn't tell us what world to hop to. So it was a race to see who could find the right world to collect all of the bots loot when they started attacking each other. My strategy was to filter worlds by the number of players. Free to play worlds are very empty these days. And there are so many bots in this farm that the player count would skyrocket on the free to play world they hop into. And it seems like I was the only real player other than Pastly, the owner of the bot farm to find them. They dropped a bunch of cash when they died. So again, I'm guessing they were collecting garlic and eventually sold it. I ended up with 750k and I traded Pastly and he showed me about a million GP. Once again, I dropped the loot and left. At first, I thought I was incredibly lucky and that maybe I had caught the only two times this happened because of all of the tip-offs I get, but I received a lot more tip-offs about this happening and people experiencing almost exactly what I did. One of the tip-offs even said that after the drop party, Pastly showed him 21 million GP worth of rares. So I think he's still definitely profiting from this farm. You've probably not really seen or realized you saw the next bot farm I'm going to tell you about. I've gotten three or four tip-offs in the last month about infernal eel fishing bots. All the tip-offs say these bots log out instantly whenever they see a player, which of course I pretty quickly confirmed. Now not only do you need a fire cape to enter this area, which I'm guessing they botted, there are fire cape scripts out there, but these bots all have at least 108 fishing, aka about 35 million fishing experience. I did observe one of them smashing the eels which is what you do when you're fishing infernal eels and while they're doing that they don't seem to log out from other players so we could actually see what the bot looks like some of the usernames reported to me in the tip-offs i didn't find in game but i still looked them up and a few of them had 116 fishing which is well over 50 million fishing experience it only takes a couple million fishing experience to be able to fish these eels so it's not crazy to assume that each of these accounts has gained about 30 million experience fishing right here according to the wiki you get about 30,000 experience per hour here, which means each of these bots has been fishing here 
for about 1,000 hours. I reported 10 of these accounts to the anti-cheat team over at Jagex. They said apparently the person running this bot farm was actually running two other very large bot farms at Solarin the Twisted and a Runite ore mining bot farm. They told me in total about 100 bots were banned, and the mule for this bot farm seems to sell the gold off almost immediately when they receive it, but it was banned with 2 billion GP on it. Each infernal eel bot every day trades about 2 to 3,000 lava shards, 500 onyx bolt tips, and an onyx over to the mule. And across all three bot farms, apparently this guy is generating 1 to 1.5 billion GP per day. The anti-cheating team did note that a lot of the bots within these farms were already being banned by them, so we're actually just seeing the bots that are slipping through the cracks. Not accounting for costs, it's pretty safe to assume that this person is raking in about four to five hundred dollars a day. With basically the removal of the dueling arena, there have been a lot of new gambling bot farms in game, trying to capture all of that lost gambling demand. If you go into World 302 at the Grand Exchange, I saw eight different gambling bots at the Grand Exchange at once. It looked like they had already all been muted which is great and i'm guessing because there's a lot of competition there are new ways gambling bots try to lure players like you into using them let's go over one of them and it starts with a tip off Someone said they noticed there were what appeared to be potentially bots using gambling bots. I quickly found the gambling bot the tip-off was talking about and waited. And relatively quickly, an account named 35 Spear 767 in what seems to be pretty random gear logged in and gambled with the bot. The account logs out, and a couple minutes later, another account, 90fish113, logs in and does the same thing gambles with the bot and logs out. Once again, a minute or so goes by and 68 warm 2763 logs in and gambles with the bot. We have low sample size here, but they seem to be winning pretty frequently. Now it's hard to know if these are even bots, but I did see the same accounts log back into that world every few minutes or so in that same rotation gambling with the bot. So I'm guessing what's going on here is the owner of the gambling bots wants to drum up attention to the bots and so has another bot farm running to basically just gamble with the bots. Unfortunately it seemed to be working. Plenty of different accounts started gambling with the bot as these other accounts logged in to interact with it. Very sneaky way of maximizing profit. To me this next bot farm is very creepy. I'll explain why. Lots of people have tipped me off to level 34s in the same gear, a combination of iron armor and myth scimitars, hopping around worlds at the chambers of Zarek Bank. If you just sit in one world at the bank, you'll see them hopping through once every 5 to 10 minutes or so. They all hop on the same tile just southwest of the bank. If you look carefully, you can also see these bots doing the exact same thing at the Grand Exchange. I had my suspicions but wanted to confirm them, so I sent a couple of these usernames to the anti-cheating team, and they said, the bots don't really do anything, they stay logged in for 30 to 50 seconds and hop worlds. They don't trade, use the bank, add remove or report any players, they do nothing. My suspicion is these are scouting bots for luring groups. They probably have these bots hooked up to Discord, sending usernames and the gear of the people they see. That's why they're hopping around at Chambers of Zarek. Lots of players there are wearing expensive gear so they know who to target. That's just my best guess though. They're potentially doing something else. If I'm right though, it's pretty creepy to think about. A few people are probably getting pinged in Discord with your world location, gear, and username to try to manipulate you into taking your items later. Thank you all for an incredible year on YouTube. I've got a lot of stuff planned in 2022 and I can't wait for you all to see it. If you enjoyed the video, please leave a like and I'll see you all later.